Plaintiff J. Dante Vaughn says a month after he started dating the defendant, she got pregnant. J. Dante claims they broke up and he obtained custody of their son when he was three years old after the defendant left him alone in a car while she gambled at a casino. J. Dante's suing for daycare expenses, emotional distress, and he petitioned the court for a paternity test. Defendant Jade Germany admits that she was in a bad place when she left her son alone in a car and says she was arrested and jailed for five days. Jade claims when she tried to get her son from J. Dante, he assaulted her, and now she hasn't seen her son in eight months. So she's countersuing for emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. I'll start with you with some background. Okay, Jan, I like to start off by saying she's the type of woman that thinks that she can have whatever she wants. Uh, in June 2011, uh, we met. I was a bouncer at a DC nightclub. Uh, she came in as a customer. Um, I thought that she was very attractive and I pursued her. We hit it off pretty well. Uh, within a month's time, she became pregnant. Um, I was a little skept skeptical of the paternity, but she assured me that I was the father, so we continued the date. Um, her true color started to come out uh, throughout, our, throughout our dating process, uh, one of them being irrational decision-making. She left our son in a vehicle unattended while she went into a casino to gamble. How old? Uh, at that point in time, he was three years old. While she was in the casino, someone seen my son in the vehicle, called the police. The uh -huh. police then uh, recovered my son from the vehicle, mm -hmm. took him to the hospital for uh, any abuse. And they ran the plates, obviously, to find out who the parent was? Yes, sir. Did and they then, call you? Uh, no, because she, she was in her car. So they went in the casino, looked at the videotape, and was able to retrieve her from okay. the... Uh, Ma'am, you want to say anything about that? Uh, well, first and foremost, I definitely would like to say I have made some mistakes in the past, and I definitely regret those mistakes. Are you a gambling addict? I'm not. I I actually didn't gamble until I started... until I, until I met him. Uh -huh. So you left your child in the car at three years old in, in, in sound mind? Yes, Your Honor. Why? At that point in time, I was just feeling like I didn't have anyone, any support as far as um, someone to watch my son. He was in Dominican that's, Republic. That's not true. So why did you go then? I mean, I was, I was struggling financially, which I guess wasn't the best decision to go to the casino, but I, I don't, I don't you know. I was just in a bad space. You risking the child's life? I definitely put him at risk. I definitely put him at risk. And it just wasn't a, a good mistake on my part at that point in time. That's a horrendous mistake. That's something people get jailed for. You weren't arrested? Yes, I was arrested and oh, I was in jail okay. for approximately five days. Go ahead. Um, so at that time, uh, I went about and was granted full custody um, and decided to move on um, dating other people. Um, Jay became uh, jealous that I was dating another woman and that I had my son as a mm -hmm. single father. Uh, she, there was a night uh, in March of uh, 2015 where she came to my residence and uh, acted very uh, crazy. Um, I recorded her and I have audio of that night. Let me hear. I asked Jay, you you've been asked to leave. You've been I asked, asked to leave. I asked you something civil, Jay. You've been asked to Jay, leave. Jay, Jay. I asked you something okay. civil about Jay, you having somebody doing wrong you my leave? son. Can and you, you trying to lie and say that she's, she's sleeping leave? over in another room. You, you, got you, right you, you got her right here. Can you leave? You got her right here. Yes, I do. Uh, and, and I asked you about it. And I asked you about it. Goodbye. And I asked you about it. Jay, you've been asked to leave the property, please. And I asked you about it. You did. Jay, you've been, asked to, leave, you've been asked to leave the property. Yes, Jay, I'm are serious. Are you serious right now? I'm very serious. Are you serious? Yes. Okay. And has she popped up unexpectedly or un. No, it wasn't unexpected. Mm -hmm. um, I did call her and I asked her if she could take our son uh, mm -hmm. for that night. Be I was going on a yeah. date. I was yes. going on an outing. Uh -huh. How did that end? I heard you continuously oh, it, it, telling her to leave. Yes, uh, it ended with her trying to pick up a branch from off the ground and hit me with the branch. Um, I, I tried to restrain her and uh, get her outside of the gate because there's a gate uh, around the house. I got outside the gate um, by uh, some uh, minimal force with pushing her 
uh, and just holding her, getting her outside the gate, closing the gate, and then asking her to leave uh, repeatedly, as you heard on the audio. Uh, she then uh, called the police, um, and the police came. Um, she left uh, with an ambulance. And did that, what, any police action follow that? Uh, the police recommended that I go and file a restraining order on her, uh, okay. which I, I went to the courthouse, uh, and she was there as well at the okay, same time. Okay, let me hear from her on that, ma'am. Okay, so as he stated, we started dating in 2011, and uh, we our relationship has been on and off for three to four years after that. And, you know, once we decided that we weren't going to be together, we did come up with an agreement that, you know, we weren't going to have people that we were dating around our son, you know, intimately. I went to the house and, you know, the unknown female was there. And I felt like it was a setup because he knows that I'm sensitive about our situation. Um, I was a little skept skeptical of the paternity, but she assured me that I was the father. So we continued to date. Um, her true color started to come out uh, throughout, our, throughout our dating process. Plaintiff Jadante Bond says he thought he had a four-year-old son with a defendant but he recently discovered that she may have had sex with another man when she conceived. So J. Dante petitioned the court for a paternity test. A setup to do what? A setup for a reaction, because he, he, likes, to, he likes to do things. So you don't think he was really going out on a date? I don't, I don't know what he was going to do. No, you just said. You thought he was setting you up. Yeah, I, I felt like he was setting okay. me up for a reaction. Okay, well, yes. meaning that he should have known you were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> And why would he invite you to come get your son when someone was there? So obviously that whole scene was a setup. And how did you react? Uh, when I got there, I was definitely I was definitely calm when I first got there. Even though on the inside, I you know I, I was upset. Mm -hmm. um, and you know we we wound up getting into an argument, as you heard on the mm -hmm. on the. Why wouldn't tape. you leave? Be because I was trying to have a, I was trying to have a, at first I was trying to have a conversation about what we discussed about uh -huh, having. But at the point that you became upset, he, he uh, asked you several times over and over while you were yelling and screaming and sounding as if you were uh, on the verge of violence and you just wouldn't leave. Why? Okay, well, prior to that. No, no. Why, when I heard all the screaming and yelling, why didn't you leave then? Because he had already put his hands on me prior to so that. So that's audio. even more of a reason to leave. What happened uh, with the uh, police and all of that? When he pulled out his phone to say he was going to tape me, mm -hmm. um, acting irrational, um, you know, I attempted to brush mm -hmm. the phone away from him. Slap. And that's when he attempted... You assaulted him? That's when he had grabbed me by the neck and started choking me until the point where I almost... I, I, I couldn't breathe and I was about to okay. pass out. And did you file charges? Yes, yeah, so I and filed And what charges. happened? I filed charges against him and attempted to get a restraining order, uh -huh. and he did the same against me. Uh -huh. um, all the charges were dropped at the end of the day. Against I, him? Against both of us. Okay. And the restraining order was denied? Yes. yes. All right, so we're done with that incident. And tell me uh, why you're suing today. I'm suing uh, because after the incident and uh, me making the decision that I didn't want her to come around, uh, due to her uh, erratic behaviors, mm -hmm. uh, she stopped paying uh, daycare. So uh, what had she been paying? Uh, we had a verbal agreement that we would alternate weeks on paying daycare, and she completely stopped and said, uh, if I'm not going to see my son, I'm not paying. Oh, so you stopped the visitation? Yes, sir. Had I, you gone but, to court to do that? Uh, no, sir. Did I, she I, challenge I, it? I have full custody of my son. From the previous court. Right. Yes, okay. sir. So But wasn't she granted a visitation? Supervised with my consent. Uh -huh. Um I since I have full custody with her uh, acting that way towards mm -hmm. me, trying to get me you locked withdrew up. Your I consent. withdrew because now you okay. if I get Did locked up. Did she take up, you to court for that? Uh no, sir. She just stopped paying. Yes, she just stopped paying. Okay. And one thing, however, was she being ordered to pay child support. No, I did not take her for child support. We had a verbal agreement. Uh, outside agreement. Yes, sir. Okay. It's uh, unenforceable, I tell young men and ladies. You can't have side agreements, and it, it, they're not enforceable. The only agreement that is enforceable is that which is ordered by child support services or the judge, because they know what is fair to the child. Right. What you'll have to do is go to child support services and petition them to do just what you're asking. Uh, what do you say to this and uh, the refusal to allow you visitation? 
So um, as far as the daycare fees, I have proof that I was paying alternately um, from October to March up until, you know, the incident happened and he stopped letting me see my son. And that's when you stopped your payments? Correct. Um, mm -hmm. My dad also made a final payment of $100 to help with the daycare just okay. because. And that's another point you all need to understand is um, because one parent denies the other visitation um, does not uh, um, uh, allow for the stoppage of child support payments. Those are two separate things. And essentially what you're doing is punishing the child for you all's dispute. And then you're um, uh, petitioning the court for paternity. Uh, what makes you think the child all of a sudden isn't yours? Um, I love my son to death. And even after the judgment, if, if it comes back that he's not, I will still love him as if he is mine. Um, I came across an email from uh, a gentleman um, that it, it is insinuating that they had intercourse uh, around the same time that she was pregnant and I have... When did you come across that email? Uh, I came across this email uh, roughly about a month or two ago. Oh, okay. Recent. Very recent. Yes, Got sir. it. All right. I was going to say, if you came across that email four years ago, right. you should have been petitioning a lot sooner than today. Yes, sir. You still loving D.C.? I need to see you bad, girl. Oh. You just came and it was my wife for a weekend and just forgot about me. I'm still in D.C. It's cool. I'm pregnant. Can you believe it? He says, what? <laughs> <laughs> He was nervous, Doc. He, he was nervous. Yeah. He said, what? <laughs> A bunch of teas. <laughs> and he said, wow, sad, but I'm happy for you. Thanks. And ma'am, you want to say anything to this? As far as that is concerned, when I was pregnant, I wasn't dealing with anyone else but Jay. Okay. All right. And I know I read it, but <laughs> she said she wasn't. We got it. Now it's her story. And... It is what it is, your counterclaim for emotional distress. How does he owe you? I haven't seen my son for approximately eight months now, um, consistently. And we have, I have gone to court for custody, and he did not show up to court for that. So as of August 24th, we have a joint custody order, and I do not, I, don't, I have no clue where my son is right now. Um, he said he, I have text messages from him. You have a copy of that order? Yes. Um, I haven't received the signed order yet, but, um... What is it you're showing me, then? Oh, it's the, it's the proposed. I haven't received the signed order in the from mail. Proposed from who? From the, the court. Quite frequently, lawyers or individuals draft an order requesting the court to sign it, meaning this is your desire. But the court <clears throat> will say, well, let me hold a hearing on this and listen to the other side. Um, I came across an email from uh, a gentleman um, that it, it is insinuating that they had intercourse uh, around the same time that she was pregnant. Plaintiff J. Dante Vaughn says he thought he had a four-year-old son with a defendant, but he recently discovered that she may have had sex with another man when she conceived. So J. Dante petitioned the court for a paternity test. So no, this is as it says, big writing. It says proposed order, which is drafted by someone desiring that. So it sounds like it's still pending. So I'm gonna have to allow you all to go and resolve that there. So we're gonna deal with the uh, paternity test. Let's uh, see what it says. And yeah, you all have to deal with all the other things, yes. Um, sorry. I um, as far as him, um, saying, you know, that he's been such a great father, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I don't take that away from him mm -hmm. to a certain extent, but, um, you know, throughout the, after the mistake that I did make, he, he had his, he had Jace at his mom's house mm -hmm. most of the time. He didn't have him most of the time. You have and something I've been to her house as well. You have something from his mom? I'm not going to let you diminish, uh, his, uh, no, stature. I'm... Well, that's what you're doing. You interrupted to diminish his fatherhood. That was your only purpose for speaking. Yeah. When in fact, it was you that left the child. It was you 
that came over and acted a fool and your child had to see that, had to see you screaming, had to see you hollering, had to see his dad asking you very politely to leave. He's been a great father in my opinion based on the testimony I've heard. And now you want to interrupt and diminish that. And so I must tell it like I really view it. You've been a bad mom and he's been a great father. That's my opinion, whether you like it or not. And he says he'll continue to be one. <laughs> you should have left that alone. We were done with that. Give this to uh, the plaintiff and see how you feel about it. I'm happy. You happy? You're yes, smiling? Sir. Because the child is his. Good luck. You've been a great father. Thank you. Continue to do so. Have a good day. Thank you. Both your claims are dismissed. Go to your local child custody court for your uh, claims. <laughs>